Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10 22H2, which Microsoft rolled out to the release preview channel insiders late yesterday in my region on the 15th of May. Now, because it's in final preview, if we just head to the calendar, I would suggest that the update will start rolling out to the general public on Tuesday the 27th in that last week of May 2025. And the update will be optional so you don't have to install it. But if you don't decide to install it when it rolls out, those fixes and improvements will be carried over into the following month's Patch Tuesday update. Now, it's quite a light release because obviously Windows 10 is coming to its end of um, support. But there are three improvements for the calendar flyout where Microsoft says first that it's bringing back the clock view that displays seconds onto the calendar that was once removed. And I posted a video on that and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. I think that was met with a lot of criticism and a previous update had removed this clock and seconds. So good to see that that's coming back because that was met with quite a bit of debate. And then if you are using Calendar on Windows 10, I don't. I've uninstalled the Microsoft Calendar, but Microsoft says it's also enhancing the rich calendar feature by extending the upcoming events period to 30 days. So that's a that calendar that appears here um, at the bottom if you are using Calendar. And Microsoft mentions that it has also added description text for the weather button on the rich calendar. So three improvements rolling out for the calendar flyout in this next update. Now, there are two fixes for GDR and GDR+. And if you don't know what GDR is, it stands for Graphics Device Interface. And apparently, there were characters that were not rendering properly. So there are two fixes rolling out for that. And then they've updated the country and operator settings asset profiles that have been updated and that basically those roll out with every optional update that mobile operator profiles and then the last one just to mention there's a fix for a sync issue where there was an issue affecting the windows account sync consent system in the european economic area markets where secondary accounts were not acknowledged leading to the increased server load so that's quite an important fix if you find yourself in those regions and that's it guys that's more or less what our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10 22H2 is going to look like. And always remember, although it's very close to stable release, it is still in preview. So what I've mentioned this in this video could be subject to change. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.